Uh, this is uh, entitled uh, Resisting Change. Uh, it's kind of, well, a lot of the work that I do is very iconic. Uh, I also deal with a lot of iconic um, concepts. Uh, change is sometimes very difficult to deal with, especially when you get a little older. Um, this just kind of represents uh, situations that I've been in before, being uh, presented with you know, a variety of different options on where to go, what to do, what to say, how to live your life, that kind of a thing. And, um, you know, this is just kind of represented. And the fall leaves falling, you know, uh, uh, symbolizing the, the transition, um, the movement of time, that kind of stuff. Uh, if you notice, you really can't tell what's painted and what's the photograph, like the bowls. The bowls themselves are photographs, but what's in them is a painted, are painted. Same thing with the, with the, uh, the table. So I'm, I'm kind of getting off on doing that kind of thing too, of, of not knowing what's a re the real thing and yeah. what's the, uh, so the painted. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's, that's been kind of fun to do as well. Well, you know, I think, I think that's, that's what artists strive for, um, is to inject some kind of personal um, experience, you know, in your work. Um, it, whether it's political, social, sexual, what have you, I think that's, I think that's what artists strive to do. Whether they're conscious of doing that or not, you know, uh, I know the work that I'm really uh, uh, drawn to, work that I really, really enjoy, uh, have a uh, real personal, you know, ribbon that, uh, even though, you know, they, I may not know exactly what's going on, um, but just like with my work, I like to keep it somewhat ambiguous. It's a great process for me because it starts with uh, picking the models, uh, photographing them, and just that whole process. So it's a, kind of a lengthy process for me to do, but it's just uh, really a work of joy. I really enjoy doing it that way.